Happy Sunday, my beautiful nail friends. I'm gonna do a monthly menus video. I wanna to try to stay on track. Today is March 3rd. Yeah. And I just realized it is almost 10 o'clock. It's two minutes before 10. Okay, let's get this done. I just finished painting my nails. I was actually watching Joe from Polish Talk. I was on a Joe from Polish Talk Marathon today and she um, was a great company while painting my nails. I don't oftentimes um, watch a lot of nail videos nowadays, uh, but once in a while when I do, it's when I'm painting my nails. And so she kept me company while doing my pedi and my manicure. And I always love watching her. She never ever fails to make me chuckle and put me in good spirits. She's just, I just love her sense of humor. She's so funny. So I'll leave her link down below if in case you guys have not watched her, which I highly doubt. I'm pretty sure you guys know who she is. Let's get into monthly manis. Let me go into my camera roll here and let's see what did I start off with. Actually, let me go into my Instagram because that's where I list all of my polishes and I have... Because sometimes, you know, I forget. I brought everything out, but... Let's see here. Okay, I know, I, yeah, I started off with a purple manicure. Um, and in the month of February, I really wanted more fresh, um, you know, more pastel type of colors. I've been in the mood because the weather is just, I don't know what the weather's doing right now. Uh, it's been in the mid 70s to about mid 80s. And so because of that, I want pastel colors. I'm looking for more something like this. Which I have something like this on my winter seasonal rack. Um, but I'm looking for a little bit of a brighter color palette. <laughs> because this weather is just throwing me off. And a lot of the polishes that I have on my winter seasonal rack are darker. Um, with the exception of this, this manicure really wanted to wear this polish. I'm currently wearing Retrograde from Orly. This is a dark teal. Um, and... It's very green leaning. It has a purple little flip. I don't even know if my camera will capture it. Um, that purple flash though is very, not very strong in the bottle, but it is stronger in the bottle than you what you capture on your nails. On the nails, you really mainly see this. And then maybe in some lights, and you gotta catch it. <laughs> it'll It'll show that little flash of purple which is not constant but still gorgeous gorgeous color on my toes i'm wearing something very similar i put on a blackened purple from my project polish and um put this over top of it and it is so so good this is a little bit more sheer um and it does layer well on its own but at one coat it just looks so good over top of, of a dark base and this is from Pacifica, it's called the Mermaid Tail. I would not buy this again if whenever I finish this, but it is really pretty. I love my pedicure. It's brighter, similar to the manicure that I'm wearing, but it's a little bit brighter and the particles are a little bit larger. So I don't know, I just, it glows a little bit more. It's just so pretty. Okay, we're at um, almost four minutes. Let's get into the manicures. So I started off the month with a purple manicure. And you guys may recognize this if you watch my Project Polish because I featured it in that video because I combined it with two polishes that are in my Project Polish. So I have NCLA's Grace, which is a chunky metallic glitter. And this has a mix of a subtle gold, some silver, and then a little touch of pink. It's just so, so pretty. It's more like a champagne chunky glitter. It's really beautiful. I also paired it with OPI's It's in the Cloud. And this is a warmer white. This polish is really interesting uh, for me right now. I wore it twice in... <clears throat> the month of February. So I wore it incorporated into this manicure and I also wore it on its own. That was actually the manicure I was wearing prior to what I'm wearing now. And this polish, but when I first bought it, which was years ago, it looked like a white, um, like a warm type of white, but it still visibly looked white. To me, this now ends up looking slightly, it's white, but it's slightly more beigey. 
and this last week when I wore it, because I wore this with this one combined, it looked, uh, as the days went on, it looked more beigey and beigey and beigey and less white. I'm not sure what the deal was. I'm not sure if it's the top coat that I used, which is a sesh bead, and it, I don't think I've ever experienced that with sesh bead. So I'm not sure if it's because this polish is very, very old that it's doing that. Uh, I'm not certain. Uh, but anyways, I wore these two combined with Province at Dusk from Orly, which is a lilac, and it's a beautiful cream. It takes two to three coats to cover the nails. It's just a really nice color. Happy to have worn it because I wanted a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a more of an airy type of color. Just really, really great to wear. The next manicure I know I featured in a Valentine's, um, inspiration type of video um, that I did and I combined four polishes and this manicure came out of an uh, a manicure that I talked about actually um, and I featured in that video I got a picture inspo from Google Images um, and I just pulled polishes with similar colors so I pulled out Big Apple Red from OPI which is like the perfect red to wear any time of the year this to me fits into every single season uh, it's not too warm it's not too cool it's not too dark it's not too bright it's just a perfect perfect red so if you're looking for a year-round type of red I think this is a really awesome one and it has a really awesome formula it covers it it covers the nail in two coats uh, dries very 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 fast and I just love it it's so good the pink that I combined it with is minimalistic from Essie and this is a pastel pink I would not buy this again I wouldn't recommend it out of the pastel pinks that Essie has this is a little bit more um, tricky I would say in formulation it has some white base in it, but it's almost like it's not enough to um, where the formula is a little bit more friendly to use. You do have to be a little bit more careful when applying it. And if you're not careful, it could take three to four coats. Three coats on a good day, four coats on a bad day. And then if you're really, really not having a good paint your nails type of day, it could take even more coats. So just an FYI but the color is really beautiful and then on the accent nail um, the inspo manicure had a a gold and pink mix of glitter and although I have this one that has a pink and a gold a glitter mix the pink in this is a little bit more subtle so I decided to layer I love layering polishes if you're you know if you've been on my channel for a while you know that I like the layering effect I like what it produces for me and because I didn't have whatever polish that was used in that manicure I figured I'd you know combine some of mine so I pulled a pink glitter that's a little bit deeper than the pink that's in this one and so I pulled out sparkle from wet and wild excuse me it's just such a good micro glitter it, I love um, let's see I love this glitter it's so pretty it has a mix of pink and silver and this is micro glitter so it is gonna stick to the nail this is also glitter but it's a chunkier glitter and it also sticks to the nail this is sparkler send off from Koki it has a mix of pink and gold um, chunkier glitter and then it has a fine uh, very strong yellow gold pearl that is just so beautiful and I loved it where I had to be a little bit careful is when applying one coat of sparkler because although it is a topper, it is a dense topper and this does layer up and get opaque, gets opaque on its own. So I had to uh, add a very, very thin layer of this to not overpower sparkled from Wet n Wild. Next manicure, I combined three polishes and I pulled out uh, Frida Rome from Essie. This is another pastel pink way better formula formulated than minimalistic this one takes about two to three coats uh, most often times when i've applied it i only need two coats it's just so well formulated on my ring finger um because i got this manicure also from 
uh, a Google Images, a manicure found on Google Images. They had a nude nail, I think it was. So I pulled out one of my favorite nudes, which is from LA Colors. I just love this nude. It's so good. It gives me almost mannequin hands. Um, it's just such a perfect nude for me. Uh, the formula though is a little bit more runny. It's a little bit thinner, but at three coats, it's even for me. Um, it gets opaque. I love the color of this. I love the tone of it. It's just perfect. I've worn it as a manicure several times. I've worn it as a pedicure several times, and each time I'm extremely happy with it. It's just so good. I love this color. I'm pretty sure I bought this this nude at either Dollar Tree or it could have been a Walmart. I can't remember. And on the ring finger, I did little hearts, wonky ass hearts, by the way. <laughs> they look terrible. I used Minimalist or Frito Rome, excuse me, for the hearts. And then I also used a Spark Bolt from Wet n Wild, the micro glitter. Um, which were it was visible but it was not my favorite in the end i think i should have gone for something a little bit brighter like this maybe and maybe i would have been able to see um the design a little bit better on the nude nail um so maybe like bottoms up that would have been great or a strawberry swirl or even this pink is also so good this is called um Look at you, Pinkachu from uh, Morgan Taylor. This type of pink, even like, I think bottoms up would have been perfect. And then the last manicure um, that I wore is a brownstone from China Glaze. Um, I think I'm ready to retire this bottle and pull a backup because this is so low. And I'm low in the bottle and this is very, very gummy. I had to drop in a lot of thinner to help it perform for me this time around. <laughs> I should have just saved the thinner and just opened up my backup bottle, but this is my favorite bricky red. Like, it's a red that has a ton of brown in it or a brown that has a lot of red in it. It's just such a good color and I loved, I loved my manicure. It was so good. Uh, this is a type of color though that oftentimes when I reach for it, it's during the fall. Um, but because I didn't get to wear it this past fall, I really, really wanted to wear it. And I think it fit, it fit in perfectly too because it is a brown. I thought it looked really great. Uh, and those are all of the manicures that I have to talk about. I did though want to just quickly talk about a couple things that I just bought. No, no polishes. I bought top coats. Um, and then um and then a couple like nail file stuff like that for the toesies i bought the pure acetone from beauty secrets the larger jug they have an even bigger one but this is a 32 ounce and i bought this at sally's beauty uh and then i also bought their regular acetone and this is also the 32 ounce I bought those because I'm running very, very low on my Q-Tex um, nail polish remover. I ran out of my, um, this is the ultra powerful one uh, from Q-Tex. And then I think I'm out of this one, which is the nourishing one from Q-Tex. I love these two. They're awesome. But oftentimes I do buy either the Onyx Professional 100% Acetone or I'll buy the Beauty Secrets one because it's so good. I also bought a couple of the Sesh Vite. Yeah, I've got to take a look because last time when I went to Sally's Beauty, I bought two of these and they were the ultra something. Somebody pointed it out on my Instagram and I didn't even, had not even realized that they were the ultra whatever. It was not the fast dry top coat. I guess their ultra one is more UV reactive and I don't do gel, bullet, gel type of nails. Um, so I had to go back and return them. Um... And you know what? I don't know if you guys have been having the same problem, but I'm having trouble finding Sashvit in store for some reason, uh, be it at Target, Walmart, Ulta, Sally's Beauty. Um, I'm having some, some trouble. I actually ended up finding these at another Sally's Beauty, but I had to drive a little bit further. Um, so I ended up picking up two bottles of the Sashvit Fast Dry Top Coat. You can still find them on Amazon though. So I bought two of those anyways. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video, possibly my Instagram, I can't remember that I found this little lonely guy at Ulta and it's the essay Mad About You. 
I've mentioned many times, this is probably my favorite, not probably, it is my favorite matte top coat um, because it adds the perfect matte velvety finish to the nails. But they don't make this anymore. I did buy their um, <sighs> Gel Couture one. I have not tried this though. So um, I hope that that one gives me a similar finish to the Mad About You. Um, because they don't make this anymore and it really it was kind of a one-off that I found this particular bottle. I also bought some heel to toe gel toe separators from Sally's Beauty because one of mine tore up, was is torn up and then the other one I don't know where the heck it went. So I like the little toe um, separators here that are gel because they're more comfortable for me. The only thing is is that this was a pain in the butt to remove from this to the point that I almost ripped it. I think I ripped one of these a little bit. It was glued on to this damn plastic wrapper. It was a nightmare to remove, but very, very comfortable. And then I bought the, um, oh, this is the wrong one. I meant to buy the Revlon one. Dang it. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. I love the Revlon, um, this board thing or whatever for my toes. Um, it has a buffer, all of these other sides to even out and whatever, right? But this was looking super rough, so I wanted to buy another, the Revlon one. I don't know why I ended up buying the trim one. I don't like this one. The quality of it is not very good. Um, so anyways, this is the trim nail care seven weight buffer. The Revlon one is so much better. Just an FYI. Um, you don't get your money's worth out of this one. This one's not that expensive either, but neither is the Revlon one. I think I just need to go to a ph pharmacy type of store because I always have good luck um, finding these there, and I just really love it. I also bought these, though, just I don't know if I've ever tried the Tweezerman ones. I use these on my, my toes because they're a little bit more rough uh, for my hands. When I do my manicure, I use the crystal nail file from OPI, but for my toes, I do usually use something a little bit more um, more rough. I have these from when I used to do my acrylics many years ago, um, but this is, is even too rough for my um, my toenails. It it, I've I've broken or chipped the corners of my toenail because these are so rough. Um, so I bought some of these. And then lastly, I bought a little buffing block uh, for the nails as well. This is a little bit more gentle. I don't use these on my, um, my nails on my hands uh, very often. But when I do have a little bit of uh, peeling, then I do go in to try to smooth it out a little bit. I know that makes it worse, but... You know, desperate times call for desperate measures sometimes. Uh, but this is a super light, um, I don't know, it's not, it's not as uh, abrasive, I would say. It's a little bit more gentle. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you guys are in the mood. Uh, or what have you guys been wearing? What have you been loving? Um, has the weather changed where you're at? <laughs> Are you in the mood for brighter colors as well? Uh, thank you again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.